In order to solve for the two additional reactions in the X, we'll have to take the system apart further. By identifying the member Fe is a two-force member since it is pinned at F and E, this can simplify our job. Blowing apart the free body diagram of the entire frame, we have a free body diagram of member B, F, A, member F, E, member E, D, G, and member B, D, C. These have been drawn with consistent forces, so the force B, Y at B is going down on member B, A, and it is going up on member B, C. This is arbitrary, but once you choose one direction, you must draw it opposite on the corresponding free body diagram. We have chosen to put member F, E in compression. However, this may not be the case. Let's identify. By looking at all these systems, it can be confusing where to start. However, we'll need to have at least one unknown. Or <clears throat> we'll, however, we need to have at least one applied load or one known load to solve for an unknown. The two free body diagrams that have this are member EG or EDG or member BDC with the 120 newtons applied on pin B. Note that this 120 newtons could be equivalently applied on pin B on the other member, it just cannot be applied twice. This will not affect the analysis of finding the forces at the joints at A and C. If we choose member B, D, C, we have one, two, three unknowns. And we can solve a simultaneous system of three unknowns. However, if we choose member A, D, G, we can simply get to F, E. Let's start with choosing member E, D, G. Taking a moment about point D, we have that taking the moment from the system of E, D, G about D, we have that E is 200 newtons in the direction drawn. Since we have a free body diagram that is consistent, we know that E is also in the direction drawn of member FE. Being a two-force member, we know that F is equal to E for this member to be in equilibrium. Now we can investigate member B, F, A in order to find A, X. Let's call system two member B, F, A. <clears throat> in order to solve for A, X, we can simply take a moment about B solve for AX without having to find the reactions at pin B. The two forces that cause moments about B is the X component of F, which from the 3, 4, 5 triangle or like triangles we have is 3 fifths times F, which is 200 Newton meters, Newtons which is 200 newtons. 
and the moment arm from B to FAX is one meter. Solving for FAX, we find Solving for FAX, we find that it is 60 newtons in the direction drawn. Now we only have one more unknown, which is the FCX, since we have already determined FCY. Instead of choosing a new system to analyze, we can go back to our original free body diagram. Let's call this S0. And take some of the forces in the X to solve for FCX. Some of the forces in the X direction for system S0, we have the FAX minus FCX plus 120 newtons is equal to zero. Plugging in 60 newtons for FAX, we find that FCX is equal to 60 newtons. Is equal to 100. We find that FCX is equal to 180 newtons. Now we have solved for all of the reactions We have the FAX is equal to 600 newtons in the direction drawn. FCX is equal to 180 newtons in the direction drawn in the free body diagrams. And FAY is 240 and FCY is 400 newtons, all in the direction drawn in the free body diagram. To finalize this equation, we should write these as vector expressions in reference to the S0 free body diagram. This is an example of how we can use equilibrium analysis of parts of a frame to solve for more than one more than three unknowns 